What's going on everyone? I am coming here to show you Jedi X 7.2. It's running multi-window, 23 tiles, 4.1.2. Go ahead and pull my S Pen out here. Feel the force. Gonna go ahead and go down to about device and you can see the build number hasn't been changed yet it's still Jedi X7 but this is 7.2 and Android version 4.1.2 jelly bean I don't know why I always do that whenever I go into here. But anyway, um, the kernel that I'm using and that I'm running right now is Perseus Alpha 28 for the T-Mobile Note 2. But I believe it's also available for the AT&T variant as well. Um, the Saber kernel that came on Jedi X seven um the battery life mm, it was it wasn't that great it only lasted me about eight hours yesterday and um you know you have a note two that's not much considering that i used to get 20 hours on stock and some people get up to a day with um a great amount of usage and you can see here so far i flashed a kernel late late last night um i'm getting i have six hours with 68 percent left and the screen time i've only been on it for two hours so i think that's pretty good i'm gonna let it you know drop down and recharge it again to see how that goes but other than that let's take a look at multi-window i don't have my keys lit up here as you can see, I don't like it. And I figured it would conserve some type of battery. So, anyway, you just hold down the back button. And, boom. There are your windows. And you can also edit what you want in here. By, um, you can see edit there, but that's not what we're going to do right now. You go into multi-window with the control. And um, you want to go to add applications. But see, this is the ROM based off of the International Note 2. And I believe that um, when you unlock the bootloader for the Verizon Note 2 and flash it, you can also install this APK. But this came with um, Jedi X. And you can see here that I added some applications that I might want to use. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Exit this and that, and you can just add the application that you want. I'll add um, Appy Geek, and I'll add. Uh, let's see here. I'll add eBay Pack, and what you do is hit back again and it's going to ask you to kill it settings have been changed the multi-window bar must be killed in order for the new settings to take place would you like to kill it yes please kill it okay i'm going to go ahead and hit the back button again go to edit and here you see the applications that you just added and you can easily just go ahead and remove something that you might not want uh, I'll remove Messenger and I'll add Appy Geek. But I'm sure if I wanted all of them here, I could have them. You know, and just scroll through. Okay, I'm done here. I'm gonna go into Appy Geek. It's my tech news. Ha, there we go. And, um,. I'm going to open up my tab again and 
drag S note into here. Uh, yeah, go ahead and duped. Add something here. Go into hmm, X and O song three. Loading, 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 and um, just go into something there and take some notes. Whatever, whatever. All right. I'm gonna you can save it, close it, add images. You can crop, of course, some things. Drag it on down here. Drag. Oh crap. Anyway. You can just go in the clipboard and you can add it anyway. Boom. There we go. Alright. I'm going to close or I can switch out. Switch them. Or I can just go here and have that up there. And I'm going to show you some quick things that I kind of did on here the other day. Um, Just my little brother's Christmas gifts. You know, um... Just thought I'd throw it together. It's pretty cool. And if you want to get rid of the tab, only thing you do is hit the back button again, and it's gone. Go ahead. All right. Thanks for watching. That's all I have. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.